Hello and welcome. My students have informed me that Crack Me 14 is buggy, so I apologize for that. I propose that you all use Crack Me 5 instead. The links are available in the description. So Crack Me 5 has the same objectives as Crack Me 14, but Crack Me 5 is working well. So go ahead and download Crack Me 5 from here. The password to unzip is crackinglessons.com. After downloading CrackMe5, put it in your folder, CrackMe5 folder on a desktop. I'm going to run it first. So when you run it, it asks you to enter username. You can enter any username and serial key, you don't know what it is. So you're supposed to crack this software. The method we are employing is to write a self key gen. So that when you click on the check button, instead of showing the bad message, wrong serial key, try again, it is supposed to show the serial key, the actual serial key. So that is the meaning of self key gen. So let me show you how to do that. Go and download your XDBG, install it, and then open it up. Use the 32 bit version for XDBG. Under Options Preferences, uncheck everything, leave only entry breakpoint check. And then for exceptions, you can you can click ignore exceptions and key in 0000000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000 8 zeros and end with FFFF, 8 Fs like this. Then click OK. Now you open your crack me in x32dbg and then when you run Remember when you run it, it will show you the bad message. If you enter the wrong serial key, it shows you the bad message. Okay, I've got a breakpoint. Let me remove the breakpoint which I set earlier. So it will show you the bad message like this. So now, uh, how do we crack this? One easy way to do this is to search for this string in memory. So remember the string is wrong serial key, try again. So we can right click anywhere here and click on search for current module string references. So it will scan the string, scan memory for the strings and then we filter it out down here for the sentence wrong serial key and we found it. So now we head over to that memory address by double clicking and here it is. And this is the test which determines whether to show the good message or the bad message. So we can put a breakpoint here now, right click and then put breakpoint toggle and then we run it. So now we come back to our dialog click OK to dismiss the pop-up message box and then we click check. So now it hits our breakpoint and we can see that it is going to jump over the good message and hit and go to the bad message over here. Sorry, wrong serial key. So now in order to create a self key gen, we can modify this string. We don't want it to show this string. Instead we want it to show the actual serial key. So if you scroll up here, you can see the actual serial key is visible in the co comments column. This is the comments column, by the way. And you can see that this is actually coming from ECX, the register, ECX. So what we can do is we can move the register value into this stack by pushing to the stack. So instead of pushing 41184 to the stack, we can push ECX to the stack. So we can do it by clicking on this, hit and hit spacebar, and then here, change this to ECX. Make sure you check on keep size to make sure that your size is doesn't exceed the permitted number of bytes. Otherwise, it will overwrite the consequent. It will overwrite the consecutive instructions. So now you you find that it is smaller by four bytes. So make sure. Now you see that it's smaller by 4 bytes, so make sure you check on this. Fill with knobs so that you fill up the, uh, the missing bytes with knobs. Then click OK 
and now you can see that it is pushing ECX to the to the stack. Now all these pushes are in preparation for this message box. So now it's a, it will show the the serial key instead of the bad message. So we can run it now, and then we go and see it shows you the serial key. So now we can copy out the serial key into uh, into your notepad. Just key in the notepad. Your serial key will be different from mine, of course. Just key in whatever you see for your system. Mine is 4488-3255-1225. Okay, so now I can copy this. I'll dismiss this message box. And then I will now key in the correct serial key in here. Click check. Then it hits a breakpoint. Click run. And now it says well done. So it's working. So you can go ahead and patch this if you want. You or to patch it, you just click file, patch file, and then make sure it's okay. Click patch file. And then give a name. I will call it crack me five dash version 2 save okay then so now I can close my xdbg and now I can run my patch my patched file so I will key in my first name and any wrong serial key and I click check you will show me the self key gen message aaa and the correct serial key and this is the one which we copied to the notepad just now. So we just copy this now and then put it in here. Paste, click check and it's okay. So this is how you can crack the software by using the self-keygen method. So thank you for watching.